All right, let's get right into it. We're talking about one of humanity's oldest problems, how to cut through solid rock. And, you know, a recently uncovered patent suggests we might be on the brink of a massive change, a real revolution, one that ditches brute force for, well, for some seriously clever physics. I mean, just think about it. From the ancient pyramids all the way to the subway tunnels we use every day, our ambition has always been defined by our ability to shape and move rock. And when you look at something like this, this massive tunnel boring machine, you just realize the monumental effort, the insane amounts of energy that go into these projects. And here's the crazy part. For all our incredible technological progress, the basic game plan, it hasn't really changed. It's always been about one thing, brute force. We're still just using harder materials to grind, smash, and chip away at stone. Sure, it works, but my God, is it slow and expensive and just wildly inefficient. So that begs the question, right? What if there is a smarter way? What if instead of fighting the rock head on, we could, I don't know, convince it to just fall apart from the inside? Now that question is leading to some really mind-blowing new ideas. Okay, so let's start with an idea that sounds like it was ripped straight from a sci-fi movie. We're talking about a plasma-blasting robot. Yeah, you heard that right. A robot that literally melts its way through the Earth. There's a startup in San Francisco called EarthGrid, and this is their baby. They're developing a machine they call the Rapid Burrowing Robot, or RBR. The whole idea is to use these disks packed with plasma torches to just carve out tunnels for things like fiber optic cables and power lines. So how does it work? Well, the science is called spallation. And it's actually pretty simple, in principle. You just blast the surface of the rock with incredibly intense, rapid heat. This creates a thermal shock so severe that fragments of the rock just flake off, break, or even turn straight into vapor. It literally just clears a path. And the numbers they're throwing around are, well, they're insane. They're claiming it's 100 times faster and 98% cheaper. It's an absolutely amazing idea. But, and this is a big but, when you really boil it down, it's still just brute force, isn't it? Instead of friction, you're just using a different kind of overwhelming power, extreme heat. It's like swapping out a giant drill bit for a giant blowtorch. It's a bigger, hotter hammer but it's still a hammer. And that brings us to a completely different way of thinking, a way that might be truly revolutionary. What if the real trick isn't attacking the rock from the outside at all? What if you could get it to destroy itself from the inside out? See, here's the secret. The key to breaking rock effortlessly isn't about overpowering it. It's about understanding what it's made of because the secret is hidden right inside its own chemical makeup. The very thing that makes rock so tough is also its Achilles heel. Okay, let's look at granite. It's one of the hardest rocks we have to deal with, right? Well, it's not one solid thing. It's actually a mix. Most of it is silica, you know, quartz. But, and this is the crucial part, it's also speckled with all these little metallic bits like iron and other metals. And this is where we find the weakness. These two different parts of the rock behave in completely opposite ways when you introduce energy. The little metal bits, they heat up super fast and expand. But the silica, the quartz that surrounds them, it's a terrible conductor. It barely heats up at all. So you have these little metal specks suddenly puffing up inside a brittle crystal cage that isn't expanding with them. What happens? Crack. The silica just shatters from the inside. So the billion dollar question is, how do you trigger that reaction? How do you heat up only the metal bits inside the rock? Well, a recently discovered patent application reveals an absolutely brilliant solution. It's called the magnetic induction tool. And the core idea is so simple, it's almost beautiful. You basically take a regular cutting tool, think of a drill bit or a big saw blade, and you embed powerful magnets right into the tool itself, right next to the cutting edges. It becomes a one-two punch. Okay, so here's how this attack works. First, as the tool spins, those magnets create a rapidly changing magnetic field that penetrates right into the rock. Now, this magnetic field is special. It only heats up the little metallic particles, leaving the silica completely cold. So those little metal bits get hot and expand, creating that internal thermal shock we talked about, and that shatters the brittle silica all around them. The rock is basically pre-weakened, shattered from the inside out. And then the physical cutting edge of the tool comes along and just sweeps away the broken material. Almost no resistance, no friction. The real genius here, though, is how they arrange the magnets. 
they alternate them, north, south, north, south. As the tool spins, this creates an incredibly high-frequency magnetic field. Let's put that in perspective. A saw blade spinning at, say, 2,500 RPM with 32 magnets could generate an induction frequency of 40,000 cycles per minute. That is the same kind of power you see in industrial induction furnaces, the kind that can melt solid steel in seconds. So, if this thing actually works the way the patent describes, what does that mean? What's the payoff? Well, we're not just talking about an improvement here. This isn't just a slightly better tool. This is a complete game changer in how we interact with stone. Get ready for this. The patent claims this could increase the cutting speed by a factor of 1,000. 1,000 times faster. Let that sink in. That's the difference between a tunnel project taking years and that same project taking just a few days. And of course, when you get that kind of speed, an absolutely staggering cost reduction follows. The patent is talking about making these operations up to 99% cheaper. The economic impact on everything from construction and mining to public infrastructure, it's almost impossible to wrap your head around. So what could you actually do with this? What does this new world look like? Well, you could tunnel through mountains at unbelievable speeds. You could quarry massive blocks of granite with the precision of a 3D printer. The patent even talks about creating perfectly flush interlocking stone blocks that fit together so perfectly, you wouldn't even need mortar. And just imagine what artists could do, carving statues with a level of detail that seems completely impossible right now. There's a line from the patent itself that just paints such an incredible picture. It talks about creating pristine cut tunnels, granite or andesite blocks that can fit into perfect three-dimensional grids. Just think about that, perfect grids made out of the hardest stone on the planet. That's the kind of transformation we're talking about. And that leaves us with one last big question. You know, throughout all of human history, there's been a simple rule. Wood is easy to shape and stone is hard. What happens if this invention completely flips that on its head? What if cutting granite becomes as easy as shaping a piece of pine wood? What new worlds could we build? It's not just about a new tool. This could fundamentally change our relationship with the planet itself.